Hi, and welcome to the third section, Displaying Content Through Views. In this section, we will learn how to use views to customize the administrative interface, customize ways to display your content, and interact with the Entity Reference field. Let's see more about displaying content through views. Now, we will see the first video of Section 3, Listing Content. Views does just one thing, and it does it well, lists content. The power behind the Views module is the amount of configurable power it gives the end user to display content in various forms. In this video, we will create a content listing and linking it in the main menu. We will use the article content type provided by the standard installation and make an article's landing page. The Views UI module must be enabled in order to manipulate views from the user interface. By default, this is enabled with the standard installation profile. Let's list the Views listing content. To begin, visit Structure and then Views. This will bring you to the administrative overview of all the views that have been created. Well, the first step for creating a view involves selecting the type of data that you will be displaying. This is referred to as the base table, which can be any type of entity or data specifically exposed to views. Click on Add New View to begin creating a new view. The first step is to provide the view name of articles, which will serve as the administrative and, by default, displayed title. There are display style and row plugins that format the data to be rendered. Our video used the unformatted list style to wrap each row in a simple DIV element. We could have changed this to a table for a formatted list. The row display controls how each row is output. Next, we modify the view settings. We want to display content of the type articles and leave the tag with empty. This will force the view to only show content of the article content type. Choose to create a page. The page title and path will be auto-populated based on the view name and can be modified as desired. For now, leave the display and other settings at their default values. Click on Save and Edit to continue modifying your new view. When creating a Views page, we are adding a menu path that can be accessed. It tells Drupal to invoke Views to render the page, which will load the view you create and render it. Now, in the middle column, under the Page Settings section, we will change the menu item settings. Click on No Menu to change the default. Select Normal Menu Entry. Provide a menu link title and optional description. Keep the parent set to Main Navigation. Views has been one of the must-use modules since it first debuted, to the point that almost every Drupal 7 site used the module. In the following section, we will dive further into views. Next, click on Apply at the bottom of the form. Once the view is saved, you will now see the link in your Drupal's site main menu. Okay. Let's see how it works. Views in Drupal Core Initiative. Views has been a contributed model up until Drupal 8. In fact, it was one of the most used modules. Although the module is now part of Drupal Core, it still has many improvements that are needed and are being committed. Some of these changes will be seen through minor Drupal releases, such as 8.1x and 8.2x. As development progresses, and probably not through patch releases 801, using the embed display. Each of the available display types has a method to expose itself through the user interface, except for embed. Often, contributed and custom modules use views to render displays instead of manually writing queries and rendering the output. Drupal 8 provides a special display type to simplify this. If we were to add an embed display to the view created in the recipe, we could pass the render array to output our view programmatically. When rendered, the hashtag type key tells Drupal that this is a view element. We then point it to our new display embed underscore one. In actuality, the embed display type has no special functionality. In fact, it is a simplistic display plugin. The benefit is that it does not have additional operations conducted for the sake of performance. Click on the link to see VDC Initiative. Nice. We introduced displaying content through views, and then we successfully listed the contents. 
I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video.